Hello and welcome to This Week in Fantasy LCS, where we look at projected results for Week 5 and past performances. First, let's break down the model I use to create my fantasy estimations. This model is based on two things, the player's points per game this split, and a matchup factor for the upcoming week. To illustrate this model, let's look at Diggs mid laner Shifter. In the first four weeks, he averaged 20 points per game. This week, Dig faces TSM and Complexity. Mid laners playing against TSM earn 21.3% below average, while mid laners playing against Complexity earn 62.2% above average. Taking into account his points per game and his matchups, he's expected to get 48 points this weekend. The first role we will break down is top lane. Looking at week 4 results, Dyrus topped the charts. In the last show, Dyrus was predicted to do well despite me doubting him. However, last episode's number one predicted top, Ackerman, was actually the worst top laner last week. Overall, LMQ had a horrible week last week fantasy-wise, which was truly surprising after their players topped the fantasy charts in two of the first three weeks. LMQ is looking like a hit or miss team right now fantasy-wise. On to this week's predictions though, where we see Inox at the top of the list. Despite EG's poor standings, Inox has put up decent points per game throughout the season, ranked above stars like Wicked, Zion Spartan, and Freddy122. They also are going against Complexity and TSM this week, which gives them a matchup bonus of 43%. Another person to note in this list is Dyrus, who among tops has the second highest points per game, but is against Dignitas and EG this week. Dig is the stingiest fantasy opponent of all of LCS. Their opponents get 37% below average points. My sleeper pick is Inox, who should be available in most leagues and can be a good replacement if you don't have a solid top laner. Next we will look at the jungle where we see Cotton X and Amazing scoring tons of points this past week. Cotton X is the best jungler fantasy wise, netting 185 points so far this split, with the next highest being Amazing with 170 points. Looking at week 5, Cyanide tops the list, as Fnatic is facing Gambit and Millennium. Alliance and Super Hot Crew have the statistically best matchups this week against Copenhagen Wolves and SK Gaming, but this isn't the best pairing. The easiest fantasy opponent, Copenhagen Wolves, gives up an average 45% additional points, while SK is the stingiest EU opponent, giving up on average 31% fewer points. My sleeper jungler is Cotton X, who is still probably available in most leagues despite having the best fantasy output this split as a jungler. And while he might be a bit inconsistent, he is a good person to pick up on your roster. Next up is mid lane, where looking at last week's results, somehow Kerp again scored the most points. Last episode we predicted him to get 56 points, and despite me doubting him, he came in at 57 points. Kerp right now is the number one point scorer out of any player in the league with 235 total points on the season, which gives him a 23.5 point average. Xpeke also had a surprisingly big week, and Selfie had a surprisingly poor week. Looking at the projected list, Shifter is at the top. As we know, Dig is playing Complexity this week who gives on average 62% additional points middle. High is rated pretty low this week and has been somewhat of a fantasy dud so far, being ranked 12th on points per game this season. My sleeper pick is Kerp. If he for some crazy reason is not picked in your league, I would definitely grab him. While I don't expect his fantasy greatness to last, somehow Kerp always finds a way. On to AD Carry, where we see Wild Turtle had his first huge fantasy week, getting almost as many points in week 4 as he got in the super week in week 1. Woolite, who has been the fantasy diamond in the rough, had his worst week yet, mostly because of Copenhagen Wolves forfeit to Rocket, against whom he earned 46 points the last time they played. Yet somehow he beat some of the favored AD carries Tabs and Vasily, who had exceptionally bad weeks last week. Now, looking at the projected list, where we see Reckless and Tabs at the top. Despite Fnatic having their ups and downs, Reckless has been the number one point scoring AD carry so far this split. We also see double lift higher than we have ever predicted. As CLG plays against LMQ and Curse this week, they are expected about average points. Woolite might be worth sitting as Copenhagen Wolves has a tough week against Super Hot Crew and Alliance. He is expected to get below average points, but Woolite always seems to find a way to score. My sleeper pick this week would be Altec. With the addition of Helios, EG might be on the rise and Altec has had a decent performance fantasy wise, despite his team's weak performance. Next we look at support. One thing to note here is that We Will Failure will not play this week, as he has university exams, and will be replaced by Yero. 
Looking at last week's results, Glebe and JRE had a huge week, doubling the points of some of the supports that were expected to do well like N-Rated. Aphromu also had his biggest week yet, while people like Nif and Moore had their worst week yet. Looking at the projected points, we see Kiwi Kid and Yellowstar at the top. Also, we see former support point powerhouses, Moore and Glebe pretty low on the list. LMQ is facing CLG and C9 this week, so it's a tough week for them. TSM is facing Dig and EG, which lends them to an expected below average performance as well. My sleeper pick this week is Yellowstar, who has been a strong fantasy pick this split. Lastly, we look at teams. At the top of the team list, we see the teams that went 2-0, Millennium, CLG, and TSM. Since objectives are so heavily tied to winning, teams are extremely dependent on getting victories for fantasy points. Looking at the projected rankings, we see a lot of teams that we have discussed previously in the episode. Dig is still at the top because their team nets more points than any other team at 15.8 per game. My sleeper team would be CLG, whose objective-focused gameplay is netting them a lot of points and wins. If you want to take a closer look at the tables, check out the article. Good luck with your picks and see you next week.